Hello everyone and welcome back to Factory Town. Let's unpause it. In our last episode we got a little bit of, not mining, but a little bit of smelting I guess set up ready to go. And the reason we're doing smelting is because we need to go all the way over here. We need to make these. We need to make industrial knowledge tome, I guess, tome, tomb, level ones. We're already making the natural knowledge ones and that's because we need to go in here. Now we can do basic medicine with the natural one, which we don't really, don't really, <clears throat> excuse me, don't really need at the moment. I mean, medicine's good, but we're not like, we're not there yet. I want to get mining set up. And for mining, you need 50 industrial research points. All right now we're at 21, so we're not quite there yet. Same thing with machinery, steam power, railways. Like I want to start working on trains, but we need this. And right now we're just like barely plugging away. Cause we have, I think that's three carts. I think we have like, I thought we had more than three carts, actually. If there's one, oh my gosh, look at this one. This one's all the way over here trying to find its path. Like, what is the point of that? Why does this one say it doesn't have, oh, it doesn't have a path, why? See, cause this one's only, oh, it's taking four. Okay, I thought, I swear there's a setting that I saw someone do this where you could click on the inventory or something and it tells you how, like, um, it will only go if there's a full inventory. But it seems like it is a full inventory anyway, because we're keeping well up with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's actually take you up here, since you're having trouble finding this. And we're doing perfectly fine here. But in the meantime, this is a bit of a problem. But can we have another food market? Because I'd really like to put one over here. We have berries and we have carrots. Let's see what our housing, let's see what everybody is interested in. Three of six, yeah, we could have six more, or three more, we could have carrot, potatoes, tomatoes. This is where I wanna start looking into making farms, like a setup of a farm and just, and that's all it is. But you almost have to set up this, which isn't hard. You need to have a grain mill that makes, or food mill that makes animal feed. You feed that into your pasture. The pasture then makes um, manure, or okay, so you have your farm that makes the grain, the grain makes, the, an, the animal feed, the animal feed goes into your pasture, the pasture makes fertilizer, the fertilizer then in turn goes back into the farm to make and sustain farm tiles. Look at that, that's a yield of a 120, where was that at? Then I just see one, I swear I saw, look at that one, 120. I wonder why it's so, why is it so 120? Not complaining, look at that, awesome. So we have to kind of replicate this if we want to sustain having fertilizer because right now you like we have we have grain here we again we have potatoes here you don't need you don't need to have we have herb we have pear trees i'd love to get working on all this mana shards let's see can we make another food market now you can now i don't know if that it shouldn't matter right you should be able to have more than one yeah, see, they're connected. So what I want to do is I want to connect this one to here. It should be right on the bubble. This right there shows that it's not connected, but we're going to connect it via a road, and this should be fine. Oh, look, it is. Look, because you hover over. So you can, that does work. Uh, uh, that, yeah, because this shouldn't, yeah, there's benefiting from here. Now, we should be able to put a house out here, right? And it should still benefit from there. And it does, because it highlights what it benefits from, of course. So the buildings that like the food market, the general store, they have to be within this circle for them to be part of this town. And the houses just need to be within this circle as well. This has a radius, which I don't really understand because I don't, I don't, doesn't make, I'm not really sure why this has a radius. Um, I don't know because you can put a house here and this one will hit it because if you just go like that and you put a house here, see how this one lights up in blue? So I don't really, I don't really know. Nonetheless, I want to get some farms in here. Just to something simple. Where's our farm? Just simple that can have, um, where are we at here? Just something simple to have carrots. And I want to have something simple here as a forester. And all I want to do is just output the raw res that's not what I want. I want to put, I'll put the raw resource right to this and I want to do the same thing to here. Nothing. What is that? What? Oh, are you serious right now? I want it to be. 
Oh, what? Oh, okay. Berries apparently do not come from a forest, which I'll have to redo. Uh, actually, I should just be able to go like that. That's odd. Yeah, that's just going to roll there and it's just going to sit there. All right, that's a bit of annoying. There. So I wonder if it's under farm. Because, well, I guess berries, they don't grow on trees, right? So let's see if that is actually... Nope, I want to shoot. Nope. I want to delete this and I want to put a shoot he here. Oh, okay. Simple enough. And the only way you're gonna get, ooh, we can level up. We can have enough, tw oh God, we have, oh my gosh, we have so many more houses we can get. Cause our happiness is just going through the roof. The carrots are a rate of what? One every three seconds and berries are at a rate of one every two seconds. So let's just max, I wanna get one per second. And this one's gonna be one per second, just like that. Cause this is two per second. So you get two work units per second and this takes two work units per one. This one, you get three work per second, it takes three per one, so that's that. Now, if I supply water to this, this isn't gonna mean anything because you have to, you can't water things that aren't on a farm tile, right? Right. Same thing with this, but all you gotta do is, um, if you go under here, and we have plenty of these, so let's just turn this, if we put farm tiles under these, well, a one as well, right? I mean, why not? We're gonna eventually use more of these anyway. And you come in, you hit B, and you go in here, you plant carrot. You plant carrots everywhere they that you can, and they're gonna start growing. Now, you're not gonna get any better yield until you put a well in, which we're gonna put a well in right now. Put the well right here, and all you gotta do is hit this, hit G, and drag it to that. Now, these are gonna get watered, and you can tell they're watered because they're gonna look like this. They're gonna have this um, kind of darker tone to it, if that makes sense. And the yield is already at 40. See, this yield is at 32, right? This is the yield eight, because we just planted this, but this is yield 32. As Soon as this water, boom, yield goes up to 40. Now we don't have fertilizer here. And eventually what we may end up doing is setting up like a rail network. Ooh, we can upgrade our town center. And what does that do? It makes a number of houses as well as local storages. We don't really need any more local storages. Number of linked houses plus house upgrades. Yeah, I don't know what that, like, it doesn't make much sense. Um, oh, I know it does. So you have to increase this because this will allow your your happiness amounts to go up. That's what that did. Because now they can get magic knowledge. Wow, can you just like give them like shards or something? Gourmet food, look at that meat stew. Oh, my pear jam. How do you make pear jam? Made in a kitchen with sugar and pear. Oh, this is so awesome. Because my goal is is, is, is going to be to buy more land, a lot more land, and have little areas where, say, we're making tons of gourmet food with pears and have to have, like, a row of, like, five different types of farms and all in one area. And then we're going to set a train network up and boom, boom, boom with the trains. I think that would be awesome. But here... We have inventories of berries and carrots, and these guys should be very saturated with berries and carrots, so we are good to go there, and I can probably even tone this down a little bit because we're not maxing it out yet. But I think we need to put in some more housing. I'm debating about putting it in here. We're just continuing up here. Um, I think it, hmm. I mean, it might make sense to do it right here, right? This is kind of pointless because this isn't good. Oh no, it's not pointless. Shoot, we have to connect that. But what we can do is we can connect it with an actual road piece. Ooh, what is that? We can specify if, ooh. The only thing we can do is processing. Processing gives you two times output chance of 50%. Oh, potentially doubles the output of related recipes of all those things, which that's kind of cool. So we, let's make it a processing town. How do you unlock some of these other ones? Require, oh, you need to have, a, oh, I see. You need to have a certain amount of, we have foresters though. Or you know what, are the foresters, 
we do have foresters. That doesn't make any sense. We have a forester here and we have a forester here. Hmm. That's kind of a little confusing, isn't it? You know, we have, you know, not to get off topic here, because this is fine. We have 55 industrial research points. And that means we are going to get mining. Yes. Now the question is, is what does it take for a mine? It Oh, no. Reinforced planks, and it takes pickaxes, which are made from reinforced planks. Oh, no. That's not that many, so I think we'll be okay. These, I just want to... I don't know why these are coming back if they're full. I'm just going to delete all of these. We should have one more. T I don't know why. Why is it coming back? That makes no sense. Um, again, because you should be able to set up limits to where it's like it stays until it unloads all the way. So I kind of wasted a bunch there. But what we're going to do here is... I want to set up. I want to set up a barn, and I think I want to set the barn up. Uh, he, um, so I want to eventually get this over to here, but I think for now we're just going to set the barn up here. We're going to put a conveyor belt here, and we're just going to output into here. And I want to filter this one to be nothing nothing and these can be iron plates and then this can be um where is it where's the reinforced plates at it can be it can be reinforced plates and then it could also be the um pickaxe Plank, and then it's going to be the P pickaxe. Okay, good. And then this is going to be um, input only. Well, I guess it could just be storage, right? That's fine. And then this is going to be two two iron plates. Iron plates, and then this one can be iron plate again. Cool. We actually have a decent amount here, which is good. Okay, so we need to make reinforced iron planks, and they are made... They are made at a workshop. Both are made at workshops. So we can almost make these. Oh no, that takes nails too. Oh crap. Oh shoot, I should say. Let's just see how we lay this out. Okay, workshop over here. Let's just put it here. Now we need to make reinforced planks. We need to make a pickaxe. <clears throat> and we need to make nails. I have a feeling nails are made here. Nails are made here. So I think what we need to do is actually go into... What does the barn upgrade do? I don't need to... In, in, so I think we need to... Maybe make this one into nails. I think that would work. And we just need to make another conveyor belt here. And this one can be nails. Oops. This one can be nails. And there you go. Cool. So... This can make everything. I just don't know how... Oh my gosh, how efficient that would be. Because this makes it in 6 seconds, 6 hashes, and this one makes it in 12. So essentially, you'll end up having more than you need of these. So it might make sense to do it like this. To have another workshop um, here, right? This one is just going to make the reinforced planks. Okay, this one is just going to make pickaxes. And this one can just go like that. Okay, and then this one can also go like, <clears throat> excuse me, and go, the problem is this isn't going to work. This barn, I don't think this barn is registering because it's so far away from everything. Um... Because you need that to be heat. Oh, no, no, it's just to make a mine. I don't know how that works then. Because if you go into here and we and we select um, nails, it just, okay. So they get that's what that's just what kind of doesn't make any sense. So you would think that in order for this, this is a setting like there's 50 nails in here. In order to access them, you should have to build them here. But it doesn't work that way. I'm guessing because they're all connected with. Um, they're all connected with um, 
with Rhodes. Okay, well, then this is going to house, it's going to house both of those things. So I want to come back out here, go up like that, and then go like that. Okay. And then when this one comes, this one is going to go, this one needs nails, right? This one doesn't need nails. This one this needs metal. So let's go up. This should actually be moved here. You guys, I think you're kind of getting where, I, where I'm going for here. And then this is going to go up one here, one here. This is going to come down, turn, and this is going to be nails. Okay. Got me so far, right? And then this is going to feed back into here. Um, but I also want it to feed into there, which, uh, yeah, this one here needs the iron itself, which I can grab actually right from here, but I should just grab it from this and then this can come. Let's see. This should work right like this. And then this one can go like that. And this one can grab the iron plate and we should be off to the, Oh no, this one also needs iron. Um, I think you can put a splitter here. Yes, that does work. You don't think it would because it's very kind of wonky, but it does. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Now, the only issue here is a. Oh, we need planks, 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 planks. So you need to make um, a bit of a plank, a plank set up here, which is not hard. So we, just, we need a forester which is to be here. And then we need a um, lumber mill, which is here, not a problem. We are just gonna make planks and they should be off to the races. This is making one every four seconds. This needs one every three seconds. Or does it need two? It needs one every three seconds. So this has to go up. That's one every two seconds. And this is then making, what's the problem? Oh, because it needs to have a, there we go. Perfect. And then this can actually go like that and can go in like that. There we go. Now we're going to be cooking. Now, what's the rate at this? Uh, this one needs one plank every six seconds. So we're producing one plank every three seconds, which is perfectly fine. This actually doesn't even need to be. It, this doesn't even be this. As long as this is getting one every four seconds, you need one every six seconds, and we're going to be getting that in. So this is going to work. Now the question is, is this going to differentiate? Okay, that one went into there. No, it didn't. Um, this needs to be sped up. Okay, so the one went to there. Where is the next one going to go? Is it going to go into here? No. It... Oh, wait, it is. It is splitting it evenly. Okay, so that one went there, then the next one should go here. Okay, it does it does do that, which is kind of odd that it does it, but it's good. And then the only other thing we need to do here then is we need to change this to go like that. And then this can go like this. And then we need to get this over to this. This is a little wonky, isn't it, guys? But it's fun. Oh, no, 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 that's not fun. That's not fun. This is fun. This is going to go here, here, and then we should be able to build these in the water, right? Or you know what I can do is I can just build this right above this one and then bring it to, I should be able to just do this, right? You can stack things like that. Now, as long as we go like that, and then I will have to do this though. And it should be able to go like, what? Oh no, what happened to, what's going on? Why do we not have any more belts? Uh, what? Wh Where am I making them at? Aren't I, aren't I making them here? 
Why does this say, why are these in yellow? Why is there one wheel in, in here for storage? Oh, okay. We're going to make that. I don't know why the, I don't get this though. This is a little bit weird. Um, I don't know why these are, oh, I know maybe why. I think because we're getting the bonus. Oh, right, because it's one, okay, so these are one of the things that's in our, because we are processing, this is, these are items that have a chance of getting two. All right, so cloth conveyor belts we're making, okay, that's what I need. What are these guys doing, by the way? Do we need more cotton still? Jeez. We're going to put this here, and I want to drag this um, to here. Because we're out of, we need to keep, yeah, we need to keep making conveyor belts. I totally forgot it. Totally blanked on that. Um, how many do we have now? We have four. And the thing is, if, can I move this one? Can I do that? And then I can move this one and go like that. <laughs> That's kind of a bit. Kind of cheaty, I guess. Not really. I need f four. I should only need three. There. And then I need to put a grabber here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. So we have our planks already. We need the, the pickaxes to get the mine. Because if you remember, in the mine, you need 10 pickaxes and 10 reinforced plank. Well, we have 30, almost 30. Oh, I want to get, we have seven, we need to get, we need to get the mine. And the first, oh, we can make one. The first mine, we should also start mining some coal too. The first mine is going to go right stinking here now. I want it to go, that's 38. I want the mine to go right here. Can it go there? Oh, let's just get rid of these people. They're kind of just in the way right now. Um, that can be under 42. This would be 44. Um, <clears throat> let's just go here. And that should output. This should output. Like that. And we need to put a grabber. Look at that, look at that, look at that. We're producing. How many do we need to keep this sustained? We need three every nine seconds, I guess. No, because this is this is one per second. This is one every two seconds. So we need one and a half per second, which right now we're producing. We should be producing enough. But it appears we're not. So I want to up this. That's one per second. Is that going to keep up? I don't think it will because we actually have... Let's just cut this down a bit. Because you want to try to run this so your input is matching your consumption. Which right now we're not quite... Let's up this one. Let's just keep it at five. I don't know why I changed it. But this is good because this is going to filter around. And it's going to give us everything that we need. Which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. You guys can now go away. Alrighty. We got, this is like the ugliest thing ever. Oh, it's cool. There's a little like the the little light here. That's really that's really cool. Alright guys, we we're out of time for this episode. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. And next time we're gonna get more mines made over to where the stone is. I think we need to start ramping up our stone production, even though we have tons already. We need to start making things to sell. I think that might be the name of the game, but we have ton oh my god, we have tons of coins right now. But we need to always keep expanding, and we're gonna check out our housing to see what we can expand. Maybe we'll do more farming, maybe we'll do more mining. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but it's gonna be something fun. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Factory Town episode.